Right, good day ladies and gents. Um, for about three weeks uh, after switching my graphics card, I've had stuttering and it's been uh, ruining my day. So uh, I'm going to list a bunch of things that I did, which uh, at first helped uh, bit by bit. The performance got a bit better, it didn't get fixed fully. And uh, lastly, what I did to fix it completely and uh, stop pissing me off, you know. Right, so the first thing uh, I'll list is uh, a BIOS update. Uh, it's the thing that ultimately fixed everything for me, so I recommend doing this first. So what you do is, uh, if you don't know your motherboard, uh, press the Windows key, type in MS Info32. Opens up system information, you can find your motherboard right here. That's the one. Next up, you Google that shit. Uh, you put it in Google, uh, and add BIOS update usually. Usually finds it, uh, just download the thing, uh, and then you'll mount it on the flash drive. If you cannot find your motherboard like this, uh, but you don't know the name, you can go to the manufacturer's uh, website or you can just Google the motherboard itself. And uh, there's usually a support page or a support button and you can get the BIOS and all the extra shit right there. Right, so when you download the file, uh, make sure your flash drive should be FAT32. If you don't know how to do it, you, uh, you press mouse 2 on your flash drive and you go to format. Uh, it will give you option lists on what to do. You just press FAT32. Everything else should be by default. If not, just make sure it's the same as this. Uh, you format it and it's going to work then. So next up, you just, uh, the thing you have downloaded, uh, unzip it, get that shit out. Uh, use the exe file. It renames the BIOS. I don't know why every BIOS can't just come with the fucking correct name. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Rename that shit. Check it in the flash drive. Uh, plug it in your computer uh, and go you know, reset your computer and uh, get to the BIOS. Right, so when the screen goes black, you just smash that key like uh, like it owes you money, mate. See, it there it says Dell or F2. Right, so there it's open. Right, when you're in the BIOS, you go to the tool selection and uh, you use Asus Easy Flash 3. Uh, I don't have it right now, but it will show up as one of the flashes. It's going to be the right name that you memorized hopefully and just click on that you click OK and you should uh, get on to updating okay once it's updated it's going to take a little bit um, you go back to the BIOS you click delete a bunch of times again uh, you get here again it's going to reset the settings usually so what you want to make sure you do have on is for the RAM you this thing you, it's going to be disabled by default you click profile one or whichever is not disabled on your motherboard it will enable the proper megahertz uh, f speed on the RAM you don't want to be leaving performance on the table uh, next thing is resizable bar it can be differently named on your motherboard it can be something else completely usually just put it on uh, if you don't know where is it or uh, you have a different motherboard that you can't find it so easily just google it uh, resizable bar your motherboard get that shit done yeah and sometimes you go to advanced Sometimes your uh, boot uh, device gets changed to something by default. So you want to go back here and you want to ch change, uh, if there's multiple options, change the thing that has your windows for real. After doing all that, uh, just close it down. Usually as a save and exit. Uh, it will say a bunch of changes. Just save and exit. Yeah, okay. Uh, it's going to reboot. Okay, so the next thing I did right away after that was uh, go to the same website. You find the software, like drivers and tools, instead of BIOS and firmware for Asus. You download the chipset drivers and install them. It's pretty much next, next, next. Okay, get that shit done as well. Okay, so if that did not help you, here's a bunch of stuff I did as well that improved my performance. Um, so the first thing uh, on the LTT forums, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, there's a nice little thread. Uh, you download a DDU NVIDIA driver uninstaller thingy. Uh, preferably you use it while your GTX is still in. Uh, if it's not, it's fine. I did it afterwards. Uh, what you do with it is uh, basically deletes all the old NVIDIA files and drivers and whatnot. So you export that shit out. Uh, it's going to give you a bunch of stuff. You launch the DXE file, the DDU one. Uh, you extract it. Uh, gives you an exe, that's the actual program, you launch it, yes. Uh, gives you a bunch of warnings and errors, I'm not too keen on what they mean, I just removed all the AMD stuff since I'm uh, moving GTX to AMD, I don't need to delete anything from AMD. Right, so you can select uh, what do you want to delete, audio or GPU drivers, I want to delete NVIDIA GPU drivers, 
so you press this, clean and restart, delete everything, reset your computer, and it's like NVIDIA was never there. Another thing I did, which is relatively unlikely, but the PSU cables. So, for my old card, it was one 8-pin and one 6 plus 2 pin. It, it both came from one spot on the power supply unit, uh, which is recommended for this card since it uses so much uh, power. Uh, use two separate cables, don't use the same extension one. Makes a huge difference, you can also get higher wattage so you can overclock your card afterwards and such. Uh, helps a surprising amount, silly mistake. While uh, going through a bunch of forums I found this tip which helped me to some extent. Um, so this basically edits the registry and disables some feature of NVIDIA and it helped me a bunch but there's also restore thing so I recommend you install both of those uh, from the website, I'll leave it in the description. Uh, try it on, if it doesn't work, just switch it back for safety reasons. If it didn't work, it's gonna be fine. And lastly, which uh, helped me for the time being until I could fix it, uh, was just a bunch of manual tuning for uh, your GPU through the AMD Radeon software. Basically, you just tune your card to a specific way, it starts being more stable, which helped me at first. So you go to performance, tuning, uh, has your CPU if you've got a Ryzen CPU, has your GPU if, you've got your, if you have a Ryzen GPU. Um, you want to make sure smart access memory is enabled, it usually is. Uh, I recommend power tuning on, I give it 10%. You want to make sure your temperatures are fine. If it's a bit shoddy, go lower. If it's fine, go higher. It's just extra power your uh, GPU can swallow down and use. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for a video I found uh, uh, with some optimal settings which helped me for the time being. I recommend using something similar if you have the same card. Right, so a few more fixes uh, I've noticed. Uh, AMD just hates uh, multiple screens. I've got two screens, I open, open Premiere, try to do something. It cocks up constantly, freezes, fucking... Just, just try to play with one screen, otherwise it's a nightmare, really. Oh, and uh, for the recording, uh, instant replays and just regular desktop recordings, it really does not like HDR. Maybe you can uh, figure out with the settings if you want to keep it really badly. The quick and dirty fix uh, is just to turn off HDR on your Windows system, really. Uh, it's just going to start, start saving your videos properly, no more color bullshit like, uh, like the example right here. This is what it used to save uh, before. Uh, and once you just turn off HDR, it saves properly and uh, normally. Right, and that's pretty much it. I did a bunch of stuff like that for about three weeks uh, until my computer started working properly. Now it runs like a bloody beauty, mate. Now, where this error is coming from, I have no clue, but I can speculate. I had on the second screen uh, performance and uh, all my wattages and usages and temperatures and such. So uh, looking at that while playing Red Dead Redemption, my VRAM kept climbing high and higher. I uh, went into the 14, 15 gigabyte range, uh, which is, I believe, unusual. Uh, because after the BIOS update, I used about only eight usually. My guess is uh, something the BIOS just doesn't know how to stack or properly work with the VRAM on the new generation of the graphics card uh, because it's a hybrid core because maybe there's something to do with the PCIe lanes the way the motherboard interacts with that I'm not sure I'll be honest but it's a new generation new type of architecture so it's not a big surprise that there's just general stability bullshit that you have to fix the BIOS update is what did it for me so um, I hope this will help you and I hope you can game like a real gamer guy you know